Well, a very good evening to you and welcome to The Full View. I'm Chris Alda Lewis. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Now, coming up on the show tonight, Finance Minister Dito Mboweni is expected to announce an interim board for State Pension Fund, the PIC, which is the Public Investment Corporation, this week after the fund's entire board resigned. Treasury says the minister has begun the process of appointing an interim board. Now, Deputy Minister of Finance, Montli Kungubelo, is in studio with us. We'll ask him all the hard questions very shortly, and he'll tell us more on the latest developments. Also coming up on this hour, the rape and human trafficking trial of Pastor Timothy Omotoso is set to resume at the Port Elizabeth High Court tomorrow, while he and two women are facing more than 90 sexual related charges. Our reporter Jade Lee Paulson will recap for us on where the trial is at present, which brings us to the question of the day. Now the question we're asking today is, is the PIC turning a new page with the resignation of its board? If you have questions and thoughts on our top stories, of course, you can send us uh, your comments, a 30 second voice note and video to our WhatsApp line plus 27 66 479 8056. Remember, you can also view any of our interviews or features by going to sabcnews.com or you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well at full view hashtag or hashtag full view. But first, here are our top stories this evening. While well, the New Brighton community in Port Elizabeth is living in fear due to a surge of violent crime in that area. And the trial of evangelist uh, Timothy Omotoso and his two co-accused Lusanda Sulani and Zukis Vasito is set to resume in the Port Elizabeth High Court tomorrow. And DA MP Stevens Mukhalapa set to take over as the new mayor of the city of Tswane, replacing Solim Simanga.